grade of vehicles was seen heading out of the area. Just a day earlier, officials had said the roads were too dangerous to cross. Rain and flooding turned the festival grounds into a muddy mess over this Labor Day weekend. The unusual late summer storm brought with it half an inch of rain on Friday, with even more falling Saturday and Sunday. By Saturday afternoon, organizers there were telling people in the temporary city to ration their food, water, and fuel. CBS News correspondent Elise Preston joins us now from Nevada with more on this. So Elise, we understand you're on sort of one of the main roads out of the festival area. Tell us about what's happening there right now. Hi, uh, good afternoon, Chanel. Yeah, so I'm right on this uh, county road that kind of uh, leaves Black Rock Desert, which is where uh, the, the festival is, and it goes through a, a few towns, several towns actually, uh, here in the Nevada desert. And I can tell you that I have been here all day, and we've seen a steady stream of cars. The closer you get, uh, to the Burning Man Festival, uh, you could see more and more cars. And at first, uh, earlier today, we only saw those uh, cars with four-wheel drives. We saw uh, a bunch of RVs and, and vans. Uh, now we're starting to see more uh, sedans, hatchbacks, SUVs kind of trickle out. So we're starting to see a little bit of a difference. I can tell you just miles up the roadway, there is – it is a sight to see. There are – uh, hundreds, thousands of cars kind of snaked around in the desert, and people are just standing. It's traffic, gridlock traffic that I've never seen before. I spoke to one man. Uh, he said that he got up early this morning, made his way to his pickup truck to try to get out. He comes to uh, Burning Man every year, uh, and he has for, you know, more than 20 years. Um, so he loves being here, but he just really wanted to get out. Uh, after being not able to move with all of this mud. Uh, but so he waited in his car for four hours this morning. But as the traffic continues to build up, uh, it is expected that some cars will be stuck in this traffic just to get off uh, the festival grounds, maybe 12 hours from now. Wow. And we're looking at images, Elise, of people walking around with, you know, plastic bags on their feet to protect their shoes and their clothing. Talk to us about what you've heard from people who are leaving the festival now uh, when it comes to what conditions were like there all weekend. Yeah, so they described, as you said it, a muddy mess. And what's interesting, the reason why they have um, those, those bags over their shoes, it's not necessarily to protect their shoes, but that was really the only way they could walk. They described trying to walk and like, they would just kind of sink down in the mud. Also keep in mind, that this dust out here uh, has a high alkaline content. So people are not encouraged to walk. We have seen some people walking barefoot, but people are not encouraged to walk barefoot uh, because the mud could actually give someone chemical burns. So wow. a lot of people are also just kind of uh, taping up, trying to make sure that their skin is not exposed to the soil. But, you know, it's interesting for me, as they described it, it sounds unbelievable, unfathomable that they are, you know, rationing food and water. But a lot of people said, hey, we were sharing food and water. Uh, you know, we passed some sewage trucks that were coming in and out because at some point uh, those portable toilets, they were kind of backed up. It was a smell that I could not even believe. Uh, but so many people were in good spirits. Burning Man Festival is really about the counterculture and people come out here it's about self-reliance so they said that this is part of the experience and a lot of them said hey like what are you going to do the party must continue uh they definitely want to get out they want to get home some people uh told us that you know they have to get back to their animals but for the most part people are saying that they enjoy the experience and they'll be back next year okay good to know elise preston thanks so much